This is the celebration of pride, the hedonistic celebration of pride. You know, we have Pride Month. Well, what, what are we celebrating? First of all, how about we don't celebrate pride? Pride's a cardinal sin. And you might say, well, they don't mean pride. They mean, you know, it's a, a group of oppressed people and now they're just finding their identity and they're getting some security in that identity. And so what they mean by pride is security in that identity. It's like the words pride, that's the word that was chosen. So I don't care what the lies around that are. And it's pride in relationship, as far as I can tell, to nothing but hedonistic self-gratification. It's like you're gonna, your identity is going to be your sexual desire. That's your identity. Your sexual desire. So that sexual desire is at the center of hedonism. So that means you've reduced your identity to the most immature and hedonistic part of you. The part that would exploit someone else for your own gratification, for example. The part that would exploit you for your own gratification. And now that's your identity. And now that's what we celebrate. Yeah, no, that's a very bad idea. That's the worship of the golden calf. And that's what, in the Exodus story, for example, when Moses disappears, so he's the prophet of God, when, when the prophet of God disappears, the Israelites are left in the hands of Aaron, and Aaron's a political leader. And in, in no time flat, the political leader offers the slavish Israelites the worship of the golden calf. They're all drunk and dancing naked around the fire in a way that makes them contemptible to their enemies. That's what it says in the biblical text. You don't have to be much of a genius to understand that, you know, Rachel Levine is not exactly striking heart in the striking fear in the heart of the Iranians. We're so damn stupid.